Their arrival caused quite a buzz in the local basketball scene. And it is not just because of their father. With us on the scorecard tonight, please welcome from the Adamson Soaring Falcons, Cade and Austin Ronzoni. Hey, good evening. Good evening, guys. Welcome, welcome to BNC. Thank you. Be Happy here. to be here. Hey, thank you so much for the time. I know you guys are very busy. Uh, the season is ongoing for you. You're in the thick of things with regards yeah. to the Final Four. So, yeah. how have things been? It's good. You know, I uh, <laughs> love being here. Love the Philippines. Uh, yeah, we're, we're close. One, two more games left in the regular season. Hopefully, we can make it to the Final Four. Yeah. All right. We'll talk about that in a bit. But, of course, since this is your first, you guys were telling me, uh, when we were getting ready that this is your first in-studio interview ever since you guys came out here to the motherland, correct? Yeah, first one and I must say it's pretty surreal to be here. I'm, I'm pretty starstruck right now. Uh, no, <laughs> uh, let's have some fun. All right. Um, being the sons of Tony Ronzoni, uh, Kai Sota's representative, uh, how is that like and how did uh, your situation in the States uh, eventually open the doors for you to come here to the Philippines and play basketball? Um, you can answer this one. You know yeah, you know, uh, growing up, we're very family oriented. Uh, we have a lot of family from the Philippines. We had been there a couple times for family reunions. So we've always just wanted the chance to come back to the homeland and play in this beautiful country. But, okay. you know, we always were wondering when's that opportunity going to come, having played basketball in the States and everything. So. Long story short, my father representing Kai Soto kind of opened up a door for us, which we were very excited to take. Were you guys born in the States? We were. We were born in Arizona. Arizona. Arizona okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. So the weather there is, uh, yeah. is also so hot. Hot, but it's dry. Hot, hot but, but dry. dry. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, yeah. So prior to coming here to play basketball, have you been to the Philippines? Like, do you guys go back from time to time? Yeah. Yeah, we, uh, we oh, came actually okay. for a reunion in uh, Davao. Oh, okay. Mm, yeah. Ah, Davao yung yeah. provincia nyo. Dito yeah, that's where our family's from. Oh, yeah, Davao City, yeah. I see. Okay. The Ledesma family yeah. from the historic clan, yeah. Okay. So. So I was looking at your Instagram, and you guys played for Arizona State University, mm -hmm. the Sun Devils. Yep, proud alumni. So yeah. my question is, because you were already there playing yeah. high-level basketball. Yeah. So that's sort of like the dream for, for many yeah. Filipinos yeah. basketball players who live here. For sure, yeah. So it, it's different for you guys because from there, you, you wanted to come here to the motherland. Yeah. yeah. W why was that the idea and the decision for you guys when you were already playing there? I mean, I've seen all the buzz around the UAP. All my family talk about, like, they'd rather talk about UAP than ASU, you know? Like, <laughs> hey, the Philippines basketball is insane. Uh, so I want to experience that out here and play out here in front of my family. Yeah, and just, I just want to experience something new, and especially in the Philippines, even better. Yeah, these are some of the pictures on your Instagram. That's uh, top-of-the-line yeah. stuff right there. Yeah, after that, we beat UCLA. Uh, that, that, that's, uh, you guys are living the dream, and now coming out here to the Philippines. Uh, what was your initial impression with regards to the Philippines when you first came out? Oh, the initial impression was the people are going to be so nice. Uh -huh. You know, so friendly, love to dance. Love to sing. Love to sing, yeah. The food is great, you know. Uh -huh. So all those initial impressions we had coming in already, but yeah. let's just say they've exceeded our expectations for sure. All right. What about the schools? Was it always just Adamson, or were there other schools that reached out to you? Did you try mm -hmm. out for other schools? Uh, and how did you end up with the Soaring Falcons? Yeah, so we didn't really try out. Um, our dad, when he was here for the uh, Olympics, I okay. think, was it FIBA World Cup? FIBA World, World, World Cup, Cup. yeah. Yes. So he, really talked, he kind of talked on our behalf met with coaches, and he just loved the people at Adamson, so we trust him, so Adamson, that's where we went, yeah. We just loved it, we fell in love with the community aspect, you know, the people at Adamson are top of the line, from the, mm -hmm. from the students, to the faculty, to the priests, okay. to the, to the uh, management, to everything, coaches, everything, it's, it's top notch. It's arguable that there is no league with regards to basketball in the Philippines with more engagement online and rabid fans as the UAP. Oh, yeah. And you guys have experienced this. Before, UAP games were just from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Now games are prime time. Yeah. And this is a first in history with regards to collegiate wow. basketball. So the UAP atmosphere, when you experienced it was, it, was it something like, oh, this is new? Or was it similar to what you were experiencing in the States? Um. I could tell. I mean, I could tell the the noise out here. Like before I even got here, I was having people hit me up and stuff like that. I knew it was crazy. Um, but ASU, we got some pretty loud games. Yeah. Depends on the rivalry. Like U of A, you know, we played them. It's sold out. Thirty thousand people. Wow. Insane. But yeah. 
the drums, these are non-stop the drums out here. I, I don't think I can get used to the drums out here. I still can't. Kate, you're laughing with the drums. Why is that? Is, oh, is that mean, unusual? Oh, no, it's unusual. I, my family came down here and they had earplugs. They're like, oh, why do you got earplugs? They're like, the drums. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Just don't right. make them sit close to the drums. Oh, because I've heard some stories of people getting tickets and they're seated next to the drums. Yeah, you oh, can't man. escape it. Yeah, <laughs> no matter where you sit. It follows you. I go to the bathroom yeah. and I still hear yeah. I think I'm outside and I'm just hearing yeah, yeah, them. Yeah, oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah. Okay. What, with regards to the style of play, were you, were you guys uh, surprised? Because here yeah. in the Philippines, every time I talk to Phil Americans, yeah. they always say the Philippines, ah, oh, it's, it's a physical game. Yeah. Unlike in the U.S., it's, it's a game of athleticism. Yeah. For you guys, what, what's the impression? Yeah, we have the same answer, man. It's physical. <laughs> it's physical. The first three weeks here, first month, I was getting knocked out. I was getting like bruises all over my body. I call my mom like every week, like, I can't, I can't do it, it's too hard, man, it's hard. But you get used to it, you know, and like the people here, the teammates, they help you out, you know, they, they, they teach you like stuff to, how to handle it. Austin, I'm sure a lot of people are watching right now, um, the final four race, last two games, UST and Ateneo. Yeah. Is Adamson gonna make it to the final four? I'll tell you straight up. Yeah? You can tell me straight uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can't say no. I think I think we will. I think we yeah. have uh, Coach Miss Nash, you know, like we have a better chance than anyone, you know. If we just stick to the system and play hard, I think we can beat anyone. Kate, even, what you even think? your school LaSalle, I think we can beat. <laughs> <laughs> Kate, your, your, your thoughts on the outside looking in? I mean, they're, Adams is going to give it their best go, you know. So it's going to be exciting. It's going to be a fun race to watch. So I'm Yeah, because right now there are, there are three teams. It's USD, UE, and then you guys. All right, so I'm under uh, strict instructions to ask you these fun questions right here. Y'all ready? Yeah, bring it. Bring okay, it. okay. Since uh, this is your first official interview, Austin and Cade Ronzoni, who is the tougher twin? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, my gosh. Uh, we have different answers to that one. Okay. I'll say me, he'll say him. We're back and forth. We're back and forth. Different grit, different toughness. Yeah. I like that. Different uh, grit, different toughness. Okay. Who's funnier, though? I think, I think he's, he's funny. No, I, I'll get that one. He makes me laugh. Yeah, for sure. Depends on the question. Yeah, depends on the day. Yeah. Who was the naughtier one growing up? Yeah, that was probably me. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah, for sure, yeah. The first the first one to admit here. Unanimous. Yeah, yeah I'll give him that. My mom oh. can attest for that one. <laughs> okay, who was the crybaby? The, okay, yeah. cry baby. Oh, that's a good question. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna say me. He probably will say him. Yeah, you can say him. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, who is tougher on the court? Tougher on the court. I mean, we both we both yeah. give it our all on the court. We both got toughness. You know. We learned that from our dad. You know. Yeah. He tell us shut up. We start whining. Yeah. We just gotta keep playing hard. Keep playing just hard. Keep playing hard. Did, did you it. guys ever get into a fist fight? Never got into a fist Never fight. Never fist oh, fight. That's yeah. Yeah. Nah, nah. Yeah. Okay. It's been close though. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the mama's boy? Oh, we're both moms. Yeah, we're I think mom. my mom's watching right now, actually. Uh, yeah, yeah, she yeah. can test for that too. How old are you guys now? 23. 23. 23. Okay. 23 years old. Who is more likely to get married first? Who do you think? That's a scary question. That's a scary question. I don't know. I don't want to think about it right now. But yeah. yeah I mean, whatever happens, happens. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of ladies are watching right now. Are you guys single? Yeah, we're single. Ooh. Okay, how are the ladies out here in the Philippines? I love the yeah. yeah, they're very, very nice, very the friendly. Greatest. Okay, one word to describe uh, the Filipinas. Filipinas. One word. Um, beautiful. Beautiful. Energetic. Energetic. Interesting. <laughs> okay. I like that combo though. Beautiful and energetic. I agree with that. Okay. Last question. Who is likely, more likely, to become a billionaire? I won't say me. <laughs> no, he can say him. I'll say me. Maybe he's a billionaire, yeah. If I'll we add our money together, we can be a billionaire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, <I'm> <laughs> One of us sees we all eat. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. All right, last uh, message to everybody watching you guys, and uh, you can ask them to support you in your run to the UAP Final Four. Yeah, last one. Go, go Falcons. Yep, go Falcons. I just want to thank everyone's, uh, whoever's been welcoming for us for the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Been happy to be here. Shout and out to everyone. Looking forward to uh, continue to play here so mm -hmm. thanks all right thank you so much for the time guys i know it's in season but you came out here to the show maraming salamat austin and kate ranzoni thank you so much thank you thank you